The real events that inspired the movie, The Hills of Eyes. Believed to have lived in a cave with about 50 immediate family members, all born out of incest, the Bean family were known for robbing, kidnapping, and eventually murdering strangers, whom they later dismembered and ate their bodies. Over the course of 25 bloodlust years, the Beans are said to have killed and eaten 1,000 people. The grizzly tale is also believed to be the true story behind the Hills of Eyes movie, the terrifying cult horror classic. The man known as Alexander Sawney Bean was supposedly born in the late 1600s near Edinburgh, Scotland, though very little is actually known about his early life. According to Scottish historian Dr. Louise Yeoman, Bean's story might actually begin at the turn of the 17th century, though he does not appear in the historical records until nearly a century later, in 1755. Bean might have also originally been a tanner by trade, but others say that he was first a hedger and then a ditcher. Nevertheless, most accounts agree that Bean eventually left those trades behind and took up with a woman sometimes called the Black Agnes Douglas in Ayrshire. The legend goes that the Beans retreated from society and confined themselves in a cave near the sea. Now called the Benin Cave, the hideaway was said to become hidden when the tide rose high enough. This giant rock formation was allegedly equipped with various tunnels that spanned over a mile in depth and allowed enough space for the young couple to start and raise their hideous bunch. The Bean clan grew quickly, with Sonny Bean's wife eventually giving birth to 14 hideous kids. With ever-increasing mouths to feed and no real trait to fall back on, Bean turned to robbery and murder to make ends meet, and it didn't take long for his family to help him with his awful crimes. With what was essentially a small army to help him, Sonny Bean went on to orchestrate ambushes with military precision tracking and pouncing upon their victims before dragging their lifeless bodies back to the cave to be eaten. A list of missing persons grew by the day and occasionally limbs would wash ashore but the beans, who were well hidden from society, went undetected. Instead, local innkeepers became suspects as they were usually the last people to have seen the missing persons in question. Many innkeepers grew fearful of being wrongly accused and several of them abandoned their inns for other occupations entirely. But the Beans' reign of terror was not to last. On one particular day, the Beans encircled a husband and wife on horseback as they returned from a local fair. The Beans ambushed the couple from behind and took the woman down immediately, gutting her and gnashing on her entrails. Her husband, who witnessed the horror, fought valiantly back at the beans. He barreled out several of them with his horse and pulled out both a sword and a pistol until he was released from their grip. By this time, a group of about 30 fellow feargoers had made their way along the same path. When the beans took notice of them, they decided to retreat, though not exposing themselves as the cannibalistic cave-dwelling murderers that they were. Meanwhile, the husband made his way back to Glasgow, where he implored King James the Sixth to do something about this terrible being family. The king is said to have then have personally led a mob of about 450 men. The king's bloodhounds led the charge to Benin Cave, where they were met with the unfathomable scene of carnage, severed limbs, hanging bodies, and piles upon piles of stolen loot. Captured without incident, the Beans were arrested and taken to Leith, Scotland, where they awaited execution. The locals were said to have been so disgusted with the Bean family that they demanded a more painful punishment than just mere death. As a result, 21 of the Bean women were burnt to death. The men, however, were dismembered and left to bleed out. So that was the true event that inspired the movie, The Hills Have Eyes.